hello everyone you're welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time thank you for being here my name is rachel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to take accurate upper body measurement and we are making use of this dress form for that i'm going to be segmenting this measurement into two aspects first we have the horizontal and then the vertical the vertical measurements are those measurements that have to, we have to take along the body Why the horizontal are those ones we take around the body the body circumference we are starting by taking the horizontal let's begin with the horizontal we'll start from the shoulder measurements so in taking the shoulder you're going to determine the shoulder point first and how do we do that you raise your arm move your arm place a finger at the joint that point there that is your shoulder point the joint in between the arm and the shoulder that is your shoulder point so what you need to do you're going to place a tip from one shoulder point to the other this is how we do it you take your tip you place it from here to here from one shoulder point to the other that is 16 inches you are dealing with inches that is 16 inches then you come down to the back width this is around the armhole here the back width is is 13 inches now if you see how the shoulder is the shoulder width is wider than the back width this is very important to get it in case of when making a clothes when making a dress it helps with the fitting then the next measurement you are taking is the chest measurement you can also call it the upper bust measurement we are going to place our tape from this point to this other point that is 12 inches this is the upper bust measurement then next we are taking the round bust measurement you're going to place your tape around the part of the bust that is prominent you place your tape round from there round And here we have 35.5. Then you bring your tape down to the under bust. Under bust is 26 inches. Then to the waist. At the waist, we have 29 inches. This is how you take your round waist measurements. After this, you come to the bust. You take your bust span. It's also known as nipple to nipple. You place your tape at one point of the nipple to the other. This is 6 inches. This is very important, especially when you're adding that to your clothes. This is 6 inches. Then we we'll go over to the vertical measurements. At this point, you take your tape, place it at the nape of the neck, right here. We are going to take the bust point, which is also known as the nipple point. You place your tape at the nipple here. This is 10 inches. After that, you bring it down to the under bust. This is how to take the under bust point. This is 14 inches. Then to the waist. You see the waist there? This is 17 inches. This is the waist point. In order to determine the waist point, 
you stand and then you bend to the side you tilt to the side you see that point that place that goes in that is how you determine your waist point that bend there that's how you determine your waist point which is 17. the next measurement you are going to take will be your brown armhole this is how to determine your armhole you take your tape round the armhole with it like this make sure there is room there is space to lift up the hand to drop and lift so you take it this way and to determine your sleeve length you place your tip at your shoulder joint right there and then you determine your sleeve length if it's short sleeve you can work with 10 inches 11 inches if it's three quarter we have 16 there's 17 inches if it's a long sleeve you're going for you can do 22 inches 21 inches and then the round sleeve depending on the length of the sleeve if it's a short sleeve of around 10 11 inches you place it around the side and how big do you want it to be you take it right here and if it's three quarter you place it around here and you take your measurement and if it's a long sleeve i won't advise you to just place it like this no you put position your uh, hand this way and then you take the tape round it And you try moving it this is tight okay so you try moving it out and in that is how to take your long sleeve measurement at the wrist so that you can be able to accept the clothes half button like this if not it's advisable you do it like this because if you just take it at the wrist you can see how do you pull it it becomes too tight it becomes too tight so use this method this way i hope you can see that yes so on this that is it this measurement will enable you to start up your journey in sewing as a beginner is going to aid your journey it's going to help you grow faster in our next video we are going to be drafting a pattern using this measurement you've already taken we're going to be drafting a basic bodies so see you in our next video thank you so much for watching thank you and have a wonderful time bye